Well, Coach, another uh, spring practice getting underway as you get ready to start the new season. After 25 years at the helm, is this still one of the most exciting times of the year? Absolutely. You know, when the, when the spring rolls around, we get all excited. We get a little antsy, a little fidgety. And, and now that we finally have it underway, it's uh, it's you know good to get some of that uh, relief out of you. Only a couple days in, but what are your uh, initial impressions of this year's team? You know, we're, we're, we're a work in progress now. You know, we have to uh, um, just you know put the pieces of a whole new puzzle together. Every year, even though you have some of the same players coming back, it's a whole different puzzle. And the pieces sometimes, you know, don't fit early in the year, and then we have to sit back and get those pieces of the puzzle together and get them all you know, ducks in a row, however you want to, you know, uh, you know uh, use the expression. That's that's all part of the, what, what this part of the season is all about. So, you know, we just have to make sure that we get everybody in the right places and and, and, and work hard at, at uh, you know getting ready for the season. You have a lot of veteran players coming back, and just how much easier does that make your job with these players who know what the program's all about, have had success, and they can kind of impart that to the younger players? You know what's really cool is that we have two fifth-year seniors now, and just to see the improvement in Rachel Senator and Becca Bigler after having three very outstanding years, just having that extra year, the extra year of maturity, um, it's amazing at how well they're playing playing and how good they look, but also what they're instilling in some of the younger players. How good is it to have Rachel back after she had to sit out last year because of an injury? I'm just so happy for her personally because what happens is that she's such a competitor, um, she's, she's such a hopster player that to see her back playing, smile on her face, she's worked so hard to get herself back into the condition to play at this level. I'm just so happy for her. And you have six newcomers, but a couple of them are transfer players. So even though they're new to the program, how much has had them having that type of game experience at the Division One level beneficial to them? You know, there's a hopster system and a hopster way of, of doing things. And to see them mold into it, to fit into it, to embrace it, uh, to work as hard as they're working, and now to see some of the improvements that we're beginning to see in them, it is really special. With uh, Aaron Trippy catching, uh, doing the bulk of the catching last year, with uh, some of the pitchers now, you know, you've got a younger pitching staff, some new, some newcomers as well. Just how much was her experience last year catching Olivia? All those innings going to be for this year's staff. You know, you have you have such a great pitcher in Olivia Galati, and and. and uh, you have Aaron Trippy now who is going to really use her ability to maybe get some strikes for these pitchers to, to, to get them, you know, um, concentrating on the pitches that they have to throw to, to get them, you know, really throwing to her level. And, and I just think that it's, it, it's great to have an experienced catcher back here because an experienced catcher can also help or will help an inexperienced pitcher. Opening day is about a month away. Actually, I think it's a month exactly. Um, just as a coach, what are you looking for in the four weeks leading up to the season as far as every day, you know, whether it's like working on a skill set or something in particular? Just what are some of the skills that you're looking for? I want to get every player individually ready to play, to, to be playing to the best that they can possibly be playing. And then we have to get them into our team system. So if we get the individuals into great shape, playing to the level that we expect them to play at, and then incorporate them into our team system, and then have everybody on the same page as that first game comes around against Florida State, um, it'll be it'll be you know pretty good challenge for us. And having four weeks to do that and having a couple practices a day prior to the start of school really gives us an opportunity to pay attention to great detail, which is what we're doing right now. So if we can take care of the little things, then we got a shot at the big thing.